black anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, was led by Teresa Kelly. and we'll pray tribute to Dr. King on January 15, 1971. Now therefore I, R.M. Stovall, Mayor of the City of Fort Worth, Texas, in honor of the late Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., do hereby proclaim the day of January 15, 1971 as Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Day in Fort Worth. And I do call upon all Fort Worthians to use this occasion to deepen our commitment to the ideals of love, brotherhood, justice, and equality for which Dr. King gave his life. 
In testimony whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Fort Worth, Texas, to be affixed this 11th day of January, A.D., 1971, signed R.M. Stovall, Mayor. fact that they understand it and that they agree with us as to the general objective which is to make the laws easier to understand and more uh, capable of uh, faster enforcement and uh, for any a group such as the Chamber of Commerce to approve of those objectives and the principle of what we're doing has of course great significance. What's the outlook for passage of a bill revising the penal code in this session of the legislature? Well, we're very hopeful of its passage. Of course it's a monumental task uh, to get a bill through the legislature of this uh, complexity. Uh, the state bar committee was five years in revising and preparing this legislation but we feel that uh, we have it in the hands of the capable people that it will get a fair uh, presentation to the legislature and that uh, they'll consider it carefully and make any changes they think are justified and that we will get the bill passed this session. We really didn't object to the licensing provision itself except as it might give uh, some uh, respectability to uh, the underground movies and others like these. And so what we did, uh, we requested the committee that they make provision for the fact that uh, in the event they were convicted of showing obscene movies that their license could be revoked and that the mere fact you license them does not mean that you are putting the stamp of approval upon them.
Cold, brisk weather apparently kept many away who planned to attend Martin Luther King Jr. Day services at Burnett Park in downtown Fort Worth. Several hundred had been forecast to attend the new memorial services for Dr. King on what would have been his 42nd birthday. However, only about 100 showed up. A proclamation declaring today Martin Luther King Day in Fort Worth, signed by Mayor Stovall, was read by Ora Compton of the Fort Worth Human Relations Commission. Excerpts from Dr. King's speeches were read, and a commemorative address was given by Reverend M. E. Hodge, president of the Interdenominational Minister Alliance. The services to Dr. King, who was lauded as the leading light for black people in the United States, the man with the dream, were ended with the closing hymn, We Shall Overcome, and a commemorative procession. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Day, January 15, 1971, in Fort Worth. Jim Green, Channel 8 News on the Move at Burnett Park. The parade will begin between 3 and 3.15 at Pacific and Ackard. The line of march will be south on Ackard to Elm, west on Elm to Griffin, south on Griffin to Maine, and east on Maine to City Hall. At City Hall, the Cowboys and their coaches will be met by the mayor and other city officials. We are asking Mayor Johnson to proclaim Monday, January 18th as Dallas Cowboy Day in Dallas. We want to show this magnificent team that we are very proud of them, win or lose next Sunday in the Super Bowl. And frankly, we have every confidence that they will come home the world champions. The city officials and the police have asked me to inform the public that the Cowboys will land on a remote part of Love Field and will not go to or through the terminal. Normal rules prohibiting anyone on the airport other than in the terminal area will be rigidly enforced. So fans, we are asking you to come downtown and pay your honor and greet our Cowboys downtown and not go to Love Field because you will not be able to greet them out there in the manner that you would wish to and the manner in which we want you to as we have the parade in downtown Dallas. How many? Well, I was, I was really shocked. I thought at first it was another, someone calling me from out of town trying to set up an appointment for Sunday. And I certainly wasn't gonna plan anything for Sunday because I was gonna watch the game. And Mr. Dale uh, asked me what I was going to be doing Sunday, and I said, are you serious? What's everybody going to be doing Sunday? They're going to be watching that football. What are you going to be doing Sunday now? Looks like I'll be sitting on the 50-yard line watching that football game. Unbelievable. I still haven't gotten it.
I trust will be a continuation of the current program, uh, hopefully uh, with additions as we go along in uh, certain media. Our major efforts now are uh, the advertising nationally in uh, uh, magazines, which uh, particularly appeal to uh, uh, those uh, tourists and prospective tourists or who are looking for uh, places to spend their vacation. Um, we uh, have had a very fine growth in tourism in this state, and it's also one of the state's biggest businesses. Many people do not realize that uh, the tourism business in Texas out-of-state tourists um, in 1969 brought in a billion six hundred million dollars in revenue and uh, uh, this has increased uh, steadily each year since uh, particularly since the uh, uh, state's program was launched in 1964. Well, when I want to, uh, when they ask the question at Miss Universe, you know, we are always asked the question. And my hope was, like, if I want uh, to go, you know, around the world and meet people, which I really like, and it doesn't matter what kind of people, what they are, to learn from them and just to, you know, give a little love. And so it, it has been great because of that. You meet so many people of all social standards, of black and white and poor and rich, and it's a great experience. I think nobody can have this experience only, you know, like being a senior, it's fabulous, beautiful. Each person holds a world, and each person can teach you so many things, like meeting a president, which is a great experience. You never thought that you're going to be able to meet him and talk to him. But meeting somebody that is really, it's nobody, you would say, but you learn from that person, and it's every single day you learn so much.